తర్వాత గుడ్ ఆఫ్టర్నూన్ అండ్ కొనిచ్చు ది వన్ వర్డ్ ఐ లర్న్ హియర్ శుక్రియా మై అందాయి ఖోజీ కజ్వాతి థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ ఫర్ ఇన్వైటింగ్ మీ హియర్ ఇన్ జపాన్ ఎనో అండ్ వాకెట్ ఇన్ షార్ట్ టైమ్ ఐ వాంట్ టు ఇంట్రడ్యూస్ టు యూ మై వ్యాలీ మై పీపుల్ అండ్ ది కల్చర్ హెరిటేజ్ ఆఫ్ కెలాషాస్ ఒరిజిన్ ఇండో యూరోపియన్ హిస్టరీ అప్రాక్సిమేట్లీ త్రీ త్రీ ట్వంటీ సెవెన్ బీసీ రిలీజన్ బిలీవ్ ఇన్ డిజావ్ క్రియేటర్ రూల్ టెన్ టు ఫోర్టీన్ సెంచురీ ప్రెజెంట్ పాపులేషన్ ఈస్ ఫోర్టీ టూ హండ్రెడ్స్ రాజవాయ్ బులా సింగ్ షలక్షా అండ్ చియూ ఇన్వైటెడ్ బై ముస్లిం రూలర్ రెయిస్ ఇన్ థర్టీన్ ట్వంటీ ది కెలాషా సారీ ది కెలాషా అండ్ ఇండిజినియస్ ఎథనిక్ గ్రూప్ లివింగ్ ఇన్ ది త్రీ నేరో వ్యాలీస్ బిరియు రుక్ము మొమరత్ ఇన్ డిస్ట్రిక్ చిత్రాల్ ఖైబర్ పోతున్ ఖా ప్రోవిన్స్ పాకిస్తాన్ అండ్ వెరీ క్లోజ్ టు అఫ్ఘాన్ బార్డర్ దిస్ ది మ్యాప్ అండ్ దిస్ వెరీ సారీ వెరీ క్లోజ్ టు ది అఫ్ఘాన్ బార్డర్ ది కెలాష్ హ్యావ్ ఎ యూనిక్ కల్చర్ ఆఫ్ దియర్ ఓన్ విచ్ ఈస్ కన్సిడర్ టు బి ఓల్డెస్ట్ living culture of the world ah uh, the kalasha speaks in uh, archaic from the indo-european dardic language called kalasha language the kalasha has a rich traditional folklore epics law songs and idioms demonstrating a high standard of indigenous experience regarding the origin of kalash community there are two main theories uh some of the historian considered them that the alexander of uh, the descendant of alexander the great this theory is totally wrong because we never have any evidence in kalasha valley that we can say we are descendant of alexander the great unfortunately some historians they came uh, from outside after 18 uh, 18 uh, 1890 and they put this concept to the kalasha people's mind that you people are descendant of alexander the great because of their uh, you know blue eyes and all the appearance they think these people are descendant of alexander the great but alexander never been in that area archaeological investigation <coughs> conducted in the uh, upper chitral parvak as well as gankorinyo takes in guru lawyer chitral he revealed remains the indo aryans from the from of graveyards the radio carbon of the bone sampling collected from their site range from 1000 bce to 1000 ce based on the burial tradition of the indo aryans uh, which are still practiced by the kalasha some of the archaeologists consider that kalasha be descendant of the indo aryans both the theories are given by the non local writers and also based on the archaeological and ethnological remains <coughs> uh festivals the kalasha celebrate many festivals in a year uh one of these occasion they get together and celebrate their uh, ceremonies uh, by sacrifice on altars cooking traditional meals dancing and traditional music not only entertainment and also religious ritual this relationship according to kalash mythology needs in uh, manifestation in a music and dance which also contribute to the pleasure of god and goddesses there are four major festivals commemorating season change and significance even in life these festivals are joshi uchao pu and chomos a uh, total population in the kalasha vale three valleys are 11 uh, 11 three uh, 11304 and the kalasha are only 40 uh, 4200 the kalasha uh, altar place are 21 and the kalasha temples are uh, ancient temple is only one is left now because all the temples are restored uh, by some uh, ngos and some governments and kalasha graveyards are six so now we are trying my department and we are trying to preserve the graveyard as well because they are the ancient tradition graveyards they are only six in the three valleys uh, common place are seven and uh, traditional house are six and housing clusters are only three we have only three villages left which are the very 
traditional villages in the valley. Our museum, we have also uh, we have also three museums in District Chitral. One is uh, known as the Chitral Museum, located in Man City, Chitral, and two museums are located in Kalash Valley, Bamburet. While under construction, museum was destroyed during the flood, 2015. And Kalash Adur Museum is the most mu busy museum in the summer season because it totally local construction museum made by the Greek volunteers. Now it's work. Uh, it's under the government of KPK. Uh, of course, uh, we have uh, uh, living the most ancient people and uh, our uh, religion is more than 5,000 years old. It's not easy to th only three, 4,200 people survive in the area. So we have some issues also. The Kalasha people of the Kalash Valley, Pakistan, are facing some many uh, cultural, socio-economic, uh, natural, and political issues which are giving us under border security. Unfortunately, we are living just behind Afghanistan, so there are a lot of issues facing we every year. Uh, uh, often, uh, sorry, the Kalash, uh, the Kalash people are often attacked by terrorists across the border, where recently some five terrorists were encountered by the killed by the Pak Army. Uh, tourist issues. <clears throat> Kalash Valley is visited by a number of international and domestic tourists every year. Most of them are not very educated. They come just for preaching purpose. The influence of their dress, lifestyle, and language and deeply affected the ancient culture of Kalash. For example, burial system has been changed. We never been in our graveyard because once we goodbye the dead body, we never been in the graveyards. Not our ancestors and not we are. This is, you can see the bones are here what the tourists really did with the dead bodies and in the graveyards. So uh, after this, our burial tradition is also changed and we bury it nowadays. We not put the dead bodies in open air. Uh, infrastructure since uh, 2010, the Kalash Valley is facing huge number of flood every year. Probably the global warming, which is causing uh, disturbance in infrastructure of entire valleys. Uh, my recommendation, our uh, uh, our application is at UNESCO Department, uh, Pakistan. Since 2012, we need a practical support and guidance from Wakhet. At that, the Kalash culture must be in UNESCO World Heritage List site. Work it first court ethics to uh, sorry to acknowledge the importance of Kalash culture heritage, including sites, place, obje uh, objects, artifacts, human remains to survival of Kalash culture, to acknowledge the importance of uh, protecting Kalash culture heritage to the well being Kalasha people, to acknowledge the special importance of Kalash ancestor human remains and, si uh, and sites containing and are associated with such, uh, such remains to Kalash people, to acknowledge that the importance relationship between Kalash people and their culture heritage exists in irrespective of legal ownership, to acknowledge that the Kalasha culture heritage rightfully belongs to the Kalasha descendant of the heritage, to acknowledge their uh, recognize Kalash mythologies for the interpreting, uh, curating, managing, and protecting Kalasha culture heritage to, to establish equitable partnership and relationship between members of Kalasha people whose culture heritage is being investigated. To seek whenever possible uh, representation of Kalash people in agencies. Uh, funding or authorizing research to be certain their uh, view in considered as a cri critically important uh, in setting research standard question priority and goals. Uh, Uh, I would like to express my profound gratitude to all those who guide me, help me in completing my research work successfully. I endeavor to my parents for their belief on me, my people from the entire valley, my department director of archaeology and museums, government of KPK, Pakistan, especially my director, Dr. Abdul Samad, who support me and encourage me for my work, Dr. Professor Kinair who always keep me uh, busy and always support me and encourage me. Uh, Dr. Usma Rizvi for encourage me and support me because of her I'm able to hear. 
डिप्टी कमिश्नर चित्राल मोहम्मद उसामा वड़ाइच हु इज़ मैन ऑफ एक्शन सलवेज रेडी टू हेल्प मी एंड वंस अगेन माई ग्रेट थैंक यू फॉर वाक एट एन एन कम्यूनिटी फॉर इन्वाइटिंग मी हियर इन जपान आई हैव लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स टू से बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली आई हैव ओनली टेन मिनट्स टू फिनिश माई टॉक सो आई एम हैप्पी टू आंसर एनी क्वेश्चन फ्राम यू थैंक यू